Today is the day we go west. Headed to Grand Tool. What's everybody think so far? You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. 2755, new alternator. We do gotta snug all that down and we'll be good to go, throw it on. Hopefully that solves our charging issue. Um, we might be able to, hmm, that valve cover gasket, I'd like to switch that out, but that might be a further down the road thing. Um, due to our timing. But if we can get the alternator going, we'll be in a good place. Um, as far as getting this tractor back charging, we do have that gasket. But something else showed up. Let's see what it is. After we were cleaning all those trees and I was standing on the mower, um, which is not the most OSHA safe thing, and a lot of people pointed that out, Vivor hit me up and said, hey, you need a man basket, safety basket. So we got a forklift platform we just gotta throw it together and then we'll get the tractor going and we'll check out how we like this thing. So let me bring it over here and see, probably a lot safer than, uh, you know, standing on a mower. So this is exactly how it comes. It folds right up. This is the first time I've been messing with it. Um, maybe I should have left it on the ground. That is easy enough. Do the other side. And then we got chains that go around the back and the front for safety. We're big about safety on the channel. That's the front one. That's the front one. Is there three on the front? No, two. So these must just clip around the back side here, same way. That holds your fork so you don't fall out. Well, big safety guy now. Easy enough to work with. Let's get that back together. We'll try this out. We got some things we could trim and clean up. And uh, that folds up really nicely. So that's this one wraps around the back, goes around your, pa your forks so that the cage doesn't fall right off. Um, yeah. This probably would have been a better bet when we took that hay elevator down than standing on the bucket, almost dying. You guys didn't see any of that, but Sean Baldwin, he saw it all. Yeah, he was nervous. I was nervous. We got it though. Getting better every day. So jump on this, should be easy enough. Throw some bolts in, get all lined back up. Probably jump it and see what we got for voltage. Yeah, really gotta clean the shop a little bit, but when we get back from our, our next adventure. Because by then, the combine should be showing up. But, alternator comes just as the unit. Um, before turning this part, call. Oh, before returning this part. Yeah. So, we'll just tighten the pulley. And the fan up Ugh. and then uh, we're good to go so we got to take that sticker off should be a plug-and-play really got everything I should need right here we got to put covers back on there's the valve cover gasket like I said that will be a down the road project a little bit, not too far down the road. Somebody said take the loader arms off. I agree, I probably should have done that. I could get in a little bit better. So that is also part of, um, we'll take them off and see how easy it comes off or if it's gonna fight us when we do the valve cover gasket. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would be easier without this bracket on here. Long bolt through the bottom, shorter bolt with the spacer through the top.
Okay. The spacer goes on that side. Huh, alternator's a little different. We gotta be further out. I gotta put that spacer on the other side. Oops, my bad. I messed up. So what I did wrong is that spacer down there should be on the back side to space it out so it lines up with that pulley. It doesn't right now. That's my bad, sorry people. Well, that looks better. Yep, all in there. Just throw the belt on. Be good to go. Tighten it up. Got the wires on. Got to throw the jumper pack on though, because those batteries really weren't that charged. So we'll get it started and see what it does. Never mind, batteries are dead. I've wandered around for about 20 minutes. Couldn't figure out where my jumper cables were. I saw them yesterday when we took Isaiah's pickup. I put them in there when uh, we went to the fair because originally my plan was to go uh, get my chopper started and move it. And uh, yeah, I never took the jumper cables back out. So we'll have to wait till he gets back and then we'll, well, he's coming over and uh, we'll jump them. Unless Andy's got jumper cables. So. Andy is with us now for the next few videos um, and our plan is to pretty much give everybody a GoPro and say film whatever and then I'll edit out what you know what shouldn't be on the channel and what should so but all right yeah that was my mistake I need a battery charger is what I really need to do we've been getting my oh yeah jumper cables acquired thanks Andy he's in the house showering but, you gonna help me, Yanko? <laughs> He's worried he ain't going on the trip later. And don't worry, you're going with. Now we got it. A little rainwater got in the exhaust. Mini that could got us going. There we go. 14.4 volts. It's charging. Love it. So that worked out well. Yeah, the mini that could is gonna do some mini things today. I guess we're not gonna do it because Isaiah already did it while we were gone getting sandwiches. But he came in with the mini, messed around with it. Look at that. I didn't have the boom all the way out. I think if we take the top off, then it will go all the way in. So, okay. Well, that's what we did. What's up, Norman? How are you doing today? We got a pile there. Isaiah scare you? Oh. oh, there you have it. That's what we did. We got the whole crew here. We're supposed to be leaving. What time is it? Uh, time to leave. 11.36. I said noon, we're leaving. Um, yeah, we're going to switch the... Well, Isaiah cleaned the barn out, so we missed all that. But they look good in there. Oh, we got to give them more water out front. Robert's girlfriend, Shannon, is gonna keep an eye on them, feed them, give them grain, let them hang out. But we're gonna take the spears off, get the forks on, try out that bucket because we're all, the man left because we're all here. Yeah. I, and then, uh, open another one. And, yeah. We're gaining. Oh yeah, started right up. Oh, look at that. Love it when a plan comes together. Weighs like a hundred pounds. Or... 
They're heavy. They ain't light. Just don't put your foot underneath it. Wouldn't be so good. Oh no, he's got hospital. <laughs> There we go. Man, we're gonna throw the forks back on and call it good. This is Isaiah's first time seeing it. See, that hooks up like that. And then that sets down in. And then, well, that was more majestic than I could have thought, but <laughs> if, if I did that. Pretty wild, pretty wild little setup. Definitely safer than riding on your mower. Yeah, pretty handy. There we have it. Then we got this safety chain that goes around it. So you could go up like this and around. I don't know if there's enough length or not. Yeah, oh yeah. Go around the back side. That's pretty much perfect. Couldn't ask for better. Ride this ride, but send me the buff. I don't like heights. He doesn't like heights, but he feels totally safe. I'm totally safe now. Alright, you ready to go to Illinois? Alright, see ya. I guess you're not gonna let me down. Hey, no, we're headed to Illinois. See you, Chris. <laughs> Alrighty, when we get back, we're utilizing that. We're no longer climbing, doing sketchy things with my friends. That is a lot better. We do gotta park this out of the way, but. Link is down below for it, so if you wanna be safer than what we were the other day, hit them up, Vivor. There is a discount code, and uh, it's wild that they reach out and they send me stuff like this that probably is life-saving at one point, so. And it's compact, so. Alright, I'm gonna fold it up. And we'll, uh... Then we can put it away. Really gotta get the water set up. Probably gonna go outside, but I might do something unique, put it in that corner, run a hose over to it so that it is in the shade more. Gives them some access to uh, water. But they're looking really good. Isaiah did bed down in here when we were running for breakfast for everybody. And, uh, right, Norman? You having a good day? But what he bedded with, I think, is like pure alfalfa that's like three or four years old. It looks really mint, so. But I figured I'd fill both waters up. Shin is going to check on them twice a day and see how it is. It's good stuff, bud. So... Yeah, the herd's looking good. Today is the day we go west. Head to Rantoul. What's everybody think so far? Are we on time? No. Yes, we're not on time. Late. 10 minutes late? Nobody cares. 14 hours to go. What's your thought? You've been to Runner Stock. Yep. What do you think Rantoul's gonna be like? Probably the same. I think wilder, much wilder. Okay. Crazy. Okay. Never been, never been. You did ask him what he thought. Yeah. I think way crazier. He, his thoughts are wrong. <laughs> You've never been west of all halfway through Ohio, right? West of Sharon Springs. West of Sharon Springs. Never left the town in his life, actually. Oh, yeah, there's not so. shit in Ohio. I've been the farthest west I've gone is like Niagara Falls. But is that so west or north? I think that's, that's north. That's northwest. But alrighty, we're gonna dive into it. Get going. 14 hours to go. Should be a good few days. We haven't made it very far. We're right into the snacks. 
What do you got up there? Chips. How's your ice cream bar? Mm -hmm. And best thing? Some Diger's lemonade. Yep. We got like, I don't six know, gallons. six gallons of it probably. In a half gallon. In a half gallon form. So, Illinois, we're bringing the goods. Can, can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, neglected? <laughs> so, we're driving along and, you know, he has to watch himself chop. There you are. That's you, bud. Oh my Look God. at that truck. Wow. What a great, job. Great chopping effort from you, too. Who's yep. the chopper out there? Yeah, a little smoke. Yeah. Yeah. I should have tipped the smoke out there. Look at that. We got something with a lot of wheels. Okay. That could carry some weight. Uh, no, it's Maybe not. a few pounds. Yeah. Yanko is mad at us for leaving him. Uh, but at the same point, we gotta go to uh, Best Buy because we got all the GoPros with us so you guys can get all the angles with the boys. And uh, I took you guys off the mount because it looks weird when I walk into a store. Dad, we can go in. Think I'm gonna get hit by this car? Okay. But I need some more memory cards because they don't all have them. So, welcome to Best Buy, people. So we Dude, need, we Best Buy need a new drone. I actually do. Look, GoPro stuff. More batteries. Do we got the good mounts? So if you don't know, the white batteries last forever. Much better. Get some of these. We got what we needed. Bunch of uh, memory cards for you guys. Keep all the content. Maverick 3. Classic in them. Oh, it's a 3. Yeah. Quite the difference in price. Stuff's expensive. Well, Alrighty. Got the goods. Probably shouldn't wander around too much because... Yeah. Stuff gets costly. Did everybody get what they wanted? Andy, what did you want for Christmas? <laughs> Nothing. We're I good to go. Sure I got the right sprinkler. Yeah. Poor guy doesn't know what an iPhone yeah, charger is. Hey, yep. hey Aaron. <laughs> hey. Aaron Not your problem, this. right? Aaron, if you're listening to this, it's raining in Buffalo. <laughs> Better get the hammer going. Since Isaiah left him with yeah. like 5,000 more bales to do. 5,000, like 50. <laughs> Well, we had a good long video, but I forgot to press record. So, <laughs> Andy almost got kicked out of Chick Fil A. Robert's never been there. Give me my chicken nuggets. <laughs> I'll take that. Man. Get the spicy chicken. You want some? And it's raining in Ohio, and the roads are shut down for some reason. You know, can't park there. So, we're on the move. trip going so far so good we're not dead yet and are you alive yep. <laughs> where are we at almost to the pa border and then quick trip across pa into ohio and hopefully we don't hit any rain because it would not be so good yeah. we're gaining yeah robert has never left pretty much the east new york so at every at every stop we get to. Robert, this is Pennsylvania. Is it? Yeah, this is what we need to do it's for the manure trailers. Always, oh, and it's black. Black is hot. Well, we're gonna skip getting out for the Ohio sign because it's raining and it's right on the highway. We probably could have made it. Probably could have caused an accident, but. What do you think about Ohio so far, Isaiah? Um, now that you're in it. Now that we're in it. Hey, welcome to Ohio. Have Road's, you ever been here? Road's yeah. smooth. Road is smooth. Look at that. The speed limit's a lot different. 70 speed limit. 70. That means we can do 90 here. Yeah. It's just a guideline. Right. It feels weird. We can Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> is the air cleaner here? It is. <laughs> My uh, Pennsylvania allergies haven't kicked in yet. <laughs> Since Ohio signs in the middle of the road, 
we just figured we'd stop here and we'll take a picture in front of the way station sign. <laughs> yeah, way station. That marks Ohio. Well, we were having a good time and now it's raining. Andy, put your four ways on. It's boring, dude. Well, we are doing 97 miles an hour, so the rain looks like it's pouring more. Isaiah's up there, navigation. Yeah, system. navigation on. Sleeping. Garmin, what do you got to say? <laughs> Honestly, it's a pretty nice day for a ride. Yep. Stopped at the Waffle House. <laughs> No fights. No fights. Yes. Surprisingly. Stop that no Waffle fight. House. Yanko's eating some uh, leftover steak. And how was it? Pretty good? It's raining. Things are not going so... Hey, can we put that bag in there? Yes. If we empty everything out? Things are not going so well. Tonneau cover leaks everything. And uh, drone bag, clothes bag are soaked. Cameras are... We got Duffy Ag stickers that aren't soaked. Does it go sideways? Because you don't want to crush it. You don't want to force that. Not good, dude. What? Oh, I bad. opened mine up. I'm only wet on the top. My bag, I'm wet on the side. It's well, we got trash bag. <laughs> Dad got us a trash bag. <laughs> oh, what I should do first? Probably feed my dog. Did I bring the bowl? It's in the back. Probably actually. Ah, uh, then his paws are gonna be soaked when he gets back in. Remember last time he shook? Had to go in here, utilize the restrooms, but we made it through all the rain. Look at that. Hold on, we gotta turn the lights on to see that. There we go, got the good stuff. I'm not really sure what they're doing over here. Turn that radio down a little bit up there. We got all, everybody's got the good stuff. But uh, they're doing some sort of construction. They're doing some sort of service while oh, they're washing. And uh, we're gonna keep moving. We got about two hours to go until we're in our hotel and uh, in a good place. So back to clear weather. It was pretty gnarly going through the rain. Oh, there's a tank. Or military personnel carrier, I think. is Whatever he just said. Armored personnel carrier. Armored personnel carrier. Yep, we got it. We got Indiana. All right. So we're gonna let Cody out now. Found him on 69 South. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? <laughs> He's gone. Where's Cody? Cody's right here. Cody, where are you? <laughs> Cody, where'd you go? We lost him in the jungle. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> Cody, there you are. <laughs> on a hyena got you <laughs> Cody Cody don't tear up the lawn Here our Cody. so we're at our hotel we got Cody inside good night good night dad so I used all my used reward points and uh you gotta slap this on I'm a big IHG guy because uh, when I worked for De La Valve, that's what I traveled with because they are pet friendly in hotels. So, how's your night, buddy? Pretty good. My bag is soaked, so I'm gonna take my clothes out, let them air dry, and uh, well, this is this is the life. But costing me thirty bucks for him, and. Uh, from here on out, we should have an Airbnb. That's the plan. We might stay with the campers, but. Alrighty, that was today. I don't know how these videos are coming together, but 
appreciate you guys watching along. And uh, tomorrow, I'm very excited for this show and for everybody involved. So have a good one. I'll see you guys on the next one.